Good morning students. Hope you all are fine at your place. Today we are going to do our first chapter dozen roses. Before we'll start our chapter, let's have a look on the word meanings that come in our poem. Dozen, twelve in number. Dear, close or loved one. Floral cheer, the flower will make her happy. Struggles, tries hard. Brighten, cheer up. The other day, few days ago. So, students, now let's start our poem. We'll read stanza by stanza. So, let's start from our first stanza. I got a dozen roses from a friend the other day, but I have only one left because I gave them all away. In this first stanza, the poet says that he got a dozen roses from his friend, but he left with only one flower because he gave or distributed all other flowers. Moving on to our next stanza, I gave one to my sister, who to me is very dear, in hope that it will bring her. A little floral cheer. In this stanza, the poet says that out of the dozen roses, he gave one flower to his sister, who is very dear to him, with the hope that that single flower will bring her cheer on her face. Fine. Moving to our next stanza. I gave one to a friend. Who's not feeling too well? The flower or the visit, which helped more, I could not tell. In this stanza, the poet says that out of the dozen roses, out of the total roses, he gave one to his friend, friend who is not well or we can say feeling sick. But further, the poet says. And expresses himself that whatever he is doing, he is not sure whether that thing seems to be worked well or not. How whether his visit or giving flower, what seems to be the best one, which helped more, he could not tell. Moving to the next stanza, one went to the friend, who I haven't known for a very long. She struggles. So, in some small way, I hope this helps her carry on. In this stanza, the poet says that he gave one flower to a friend. Friend, who's that friend? The poet himself don't know. But as the next line, she struggles. She struggles means her friend is struggling in some way, and the poet thinks that. Might be by giving one flower, by giving one flower, the friend helps her carry on or overcome from her struggles. Fine. Moving to our next stanza, the roses were so pretty, I just couldn't keep them all, except one single bud, standing beautiful and tall. In this paragraph, the poet expresses. As to how beautiful these roses were, but despite that, he couldn't keep them all for himself, as he distributed the same among others. Moving to our last stanza, my friend gave me the roses to help brighten up my day, but the biggest joy I received was in giving them away. Students, in this last para, the poet expresses his internal feeling that as he received dozen roses from his friend to brighten up his day, but the poet thinks that I received the biggest joy or happiness rather in receiving. He he feels that my biggest joy or happiness is in giving them to others. Was in. Giving them away means was in giving them to some other. So, in the end, 
we can conclude that the main idea of the poem is the biggest joy or the happiness in the life is not receiving the gifts from the other rather giving them away to other persons this gives more happiness or joy to one hope this poem is clear to you all thank you